All right, today we're going to talk through three different ways that you can zoom in using Ableton Live. Uh, this is particularly useful when you're editing clips uh, or editing audio and you need to see a small snippet of information. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a little recording so we have something to zoom in and out on. So, uh, first things first, if you double clip on your clip, uh, it will open up clip view, which is where you can see all of your notes. Um, there is an overview of the entire clip on the bottom right hand side. And so the first way that we can actually zoom in and out is by clicking and dragging down here. And you'll notice that these brackets are changing and that's allowing you to scroll uh, back and forth so you can see different sections. Also, if there's something you know you want to see, you can click and it will jump to that area. So that's nice as a useful uh, sort of overview. Um, if you prefer to work in this zone here, you can also select a section um, and you can hit the note Z, the note, the keyboard key Z. And that's gonna zoom in to show you what you selected. And if you wanna go back out, you can hit um, Shift Z and that'll bring you back to where you were before. Um, the third way that you can zoom in is using your mouse. Um, you can click up here. You'll see my mouse sort of changes from a pointer to this magnifying glass, and it will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Um, there's one more way that I like to use a lot, which is making use of this fold button over here. So right now there's a lot of space. You can see there are notes being displayed that I didn't play. But if I hit the fold button, all of that changes. And now all that you're displaying on the left are notes that I played. So, you know, it's a little bit easier to find what you're looking for. You can see the bottom um, stride part is very clear um, and then the top part is also very clear and there's no space in the middle. It jumps right here from, let's see, well, I guess there's kind of not too much space between the hands anyway, but um, C1, D1, there's no C sharp. We're missing E, um, F, F sharp is gone, here's a G, then we jump to E, so it sort of gets rid of all of the space, which makes it a little bit easier, and um, remember at any time if you are zoomed in and you want to jump to another section, you can click down here, uh, making use of that overview feature in Ableton. All right, that is a quick tip, uh, three different ways you can zoom in and out in Ableton Live. And one way that I forgot to mention uh, when I did this original recording is that you can use the plus and minus keys. It's the easiest way. Um, if you use the plus button, you will zoom in. And if you use the minus button, you will zoom out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track patch list guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a main stage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.